Hey guys, Books Nelson here, back with another video. And today we're gonna to be talking about how to do most of your offensive objectives in just the easiest, most relaxing, brain dead way possible. So if we go into our challenges here, we'll see we have a whole bunch of new stuff, right? So this is for a five challenges that you're gonna be doing a 5v5, right? So in this first challenge is uh, make five three pointers with every player, right? So we're gonna do this right here, live. And I'm going to show you guys the method one, two, three, but I'm also going to explain the adjustments you want to make to get different objectives done. So a lot of people will tell you to use a specific card for something like three pointers and stuff like that. And while certain cards can make things easier, I think it ignores when, you know, you might have to do it with a Suns player or it might have to be with a certain position or whatever it may be. So this is going to be no matter what the situation is, if you need to score points, you need to score three pointers, even in some cases, dunks, triple doubles, double doubles. This is going to cover all of that stuff, right? So right at the outset, the first thing you're going to do is go to point freelance. Now, if you're already familiar with point freelance, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much. But if you're if you only know point freelance in a very simplified way, then stick around for the video because we're going to be getting into um, exactly how we're using that. So they got the ball. We're just going to let them shoot. Paul George, please take a shot. My man. All right. So first things first, if you're brand new to the game, hit right on the uh, D-pad to activate the freelance. Now, here's the first thing. So you're going to come to this wing, right? And you'll notice that my players have aligned here on the left side. So I'm going to explain this to you guys so you can get this with any player, right? So before I execute this, I'm going to explain what's happening. So what's going to happen is I'm going to walk over here to the wing and when we all get settled, Doc is going to come off of a double screen and get the ball and hit a three pointer on every difficulty level. This is effective. Now it's 100 I would say 99.9% .9 effective on everything up to superstar on Hall of Fame. Some cards with elite defense will get through this sometimes. It's not like it never works. It's just not 100% the success rate the way it is on any other difficulty and even Hall of Fame against lesser cards. So say if you're doing the daily, the pickup challenges on Hall of Fame um, Hall of Fame difficulty, but if you have say gold cards or you know rubies or whatever, they don't have the defense to get through those screens. But if you're going up against Dark Matter Kawhi Leonard or Hall of Fame difficulty, then he's gonna give you more problems. But overall, the game's just much more difficult in that situation anyway. All right. so. Doc is going to come over and get the three pointer. That's the nuts and bolts of the method. However, you also have the situation of how do I get assist with everybody? And also, how do I get other people involved in this situation? So, for instance, if I wanted Kyle Corver to get the shot, what I would do with Shea is I would take Shea from over here, I'd move him over here, and then everybody would line up on the opposite side. So, that's first things first. Whoever is in the corners, at the start of the play, you can choose which one of them you want by which wing you go to. So if I go to this wing, Doc's going to come over for the three. If, I'm, if I come over to this wing, Kyle Korver is going to come over for the three. All right. So let's go. And I'll say um, this play runs with everyone except your center. If you try this with your center, they will not run the play. They will wait until you get a one, two, three, or four to run this play. So. How do you do triple doubles? Basically, any rebounding method, which for me, the easiest way to do rebounds in a full game is just to have whoever you want to rebound play center, right? So it's easiest, first of all, power forward centers. Have them play center and do the rest of your objectives throughout the game. And if you are looking like you're not going to get the rebounds, say by halftime, say you only have like three or four, then maybe do a rebounding method like purposefully missing shots with the pick and roll. And then you take that center put him at power forward, so obviously you need a center who can play both, and run this same thing with the center to get the assists, or you can have the center in the corner to get the quick threes to get your triple-double, right? So let's go ahead and run this and see what this looks like. So we're here, Doc comes over, three-pointer, good to go, right? And that's basically the method. So we're gonna run, and I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do the adjustment so you guys can just see that in real time. So whoever's in the corner, let's say I want I want Bowl Bowl to be the one 
to uh because yeah there's actually one more adjustment to this that i want to show you so i want ball ball to be the one to shoot so we see here ball ball is not so the center is never going to be in the play right the center is never involved so it's your one two three and four that this is working for so you'll see here that ball ball doc is in the corner kyle's in the corner and ball ball is the one setting one of the screens so here's how you remedy that situation so doc's going to come off pass it to b pass it to doc pass it back and now ball ball's in the corner right so now if ball ball was the one who needed the triple double he would be just be the one that I run the method with. Now you saw there, Paul George got under. Not a problem. I mean, honestly, that five percent, I could have still hit that shot. Um, but again, ninety nine point nine percent of the time, it works just fine, as you saw in that very first play. So that's how you get anybody on your court to get into that situation. And let's say you're coming up the court, and there's one more situation. Say I want it for Shea, and he's got the rebounds. So I'm going to come up court here, right? Pass it to Bowl Bowl. Ball's going to vacate. Shea's going to trade out with him. I come to the other wing. They all flip sides. And now Shea's the one getting a three. So this basically, outside, if, if people can play one, two, three, or four, this method solves all of their problems for triple doubles, three-pointers, and uh, you know double doubles and all that stuff. Now, I do want to show you one last thing because this is really just the easiest, most versatile method for doing this stuff. And we're going to talk about the dunks, right? So while there are other ways to get dunks, I just want to show how you can also use this to get dunks. So Doc is in the corner, which is great. So I'm going to pull up uh, this, and we're going to see that, see that cut to the basket. I'm going to hit it there, and then lob it to Doc. So this is the so that's basically the full video. It, if you need dunks, if you need three pointers, if you need triple doubles, double doubles, I think this is the easiest way to do all of those things. And because of the nature of the method, you can stack and combine these objectives very, very easily. Like you see there, in just talking about this video, we already also started our small forward dunks in addition to doing this objective right here. And again, if I needed a specific player to like a Suns player, or you know, from a team or or from a certain position, or 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 even just like we have the playoff objectives right now, I could just plug them into the team and get it done here. And we're, you know, we're getting our stuff done. All right. So hopefully that helps you guys uh, to complete these objectives. This is the kind of thing you can literally watch Netflix and YouTube while you do it. it. Takes no thought whatsoever. You just go to the wing. If people aren't arranged, you either switch wings or trade out the corner. Do whatever you need to do. If you need some dunks, you throw some lobs the way I showed you here. And the three pointers, very fast, very easy. This also works in clutch time. So in clutch time, you have a lot less time. So I do think that's where if you're trying to score a high number, right, this does take a little longer. So if you need something like 40, 50 points, this is still useful if you're if your guys in takeover and you're getting double teamed. But before that, you probably want to use faster scoring methods and just be chucking up shots from the four point line to get started. Right. If you're going for a high volume um, points total. But other than that, this is the method. This still works in every game mode. And funny enough, this actually does work online because when people see that you're doing it, this sets them up for other plays that have that same formation. Uh, and they're also generally not ready for the cuts because you can call anybody from that right side and have them cut to the basket as well. But that's a subject for another day. Um, thanks. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this helped you get your objectives done a little bit faster. I'll see you all in the next one. And peace.